Ashy Larry is back, and I'm going to take one more swing at making this guitar work for me, and we're going to do that together today, right here on Geargasms. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, Ashy Larry, he is back. What in the world am I talking about? A few weeks ago, I did a video on just trying to save my relationship with this here player series, Jazz Master. And one of the things I didn't like about it was this dry, bone dry, pow ferro finger board. So I tried to put some lemon oil on it and it looked good till the video was done. But as I thought, Pau Ferro is too dense. It didn't really soak it up. It more or less evaporated. And now we're back to the dry old ashy Larry. So I'm gonna have to live with that. I did clean up the nut slot cutting. I got the intonation a lot better. I used probably improper tools if you remember. And what happened? I cut the G string nut with too big of a nut file. It was too wide at the top. So when I went to bend the G string, whang, it goes right out of the nut slot. That's no bueno. The problem I'm having with it is this. I have a lot of guitars. I'm, bl I'm blessed with that curse. Um, and this guitar doesn't really do anything that much different. Sure, these split, but they don't split as well as my either one of my Charvels. But I'm just like, can I justify keeping it? I like the way it plays and it looks cool, but it just doesn't really do anything that any of my other guitars do. So I thought, all right, what if I, since it's a longer scale guitar and I got this extra length, what if I turn this thing into a chug stick? Huh? A down-tuned chug stick. How in the world am I gonna do that? I'm gonna tell you, but first, I'm gonna beg you to like and subscribe. This poor channel, this poor channel, this channel is kinda like Tuesday. You don't actively hate it, but when you stop and think about it, you're like, yeah, fuck Tuesday. Celebrate mediocre. You kids, when you see a guitar demo, amp demo, pedal demo, you want to hear chug, 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 chug. Nice. <laughs> My guitars won't do that. So what I'm going to try and do is take this thing down to a, a D standard tuning, drop the E to a drop C. So it's going to be drop C. And in order to do that, obviously, I'm going to need some heavier gauge strings than the nines that I normally use. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to see if we can make it work. I think the nut file I used for the G string was maybe a little too wide. And the problem is when I bend this G string, did you see that? It comes right out. That ain't no bueno. So you're doing a masterful bend, you know, gunk. I finally did buy a correct tool, Music Nomad Nut File 17. I just got this one. These are $15 a pop. You can get the whole set for whatever six times $15 is. Was that 90 bucks? You've never seen one of these before. Like I haven't, it is a nut file. Sweetwater, full retail. What I'm gonna try to do is get this guy in the slot and just deepen it a little bit. See if I can go down, not too much. <sighs> to see if I can deepen it without destroying the intonation. Oh, look. Oh, do I dare cut more? Let me pick it up. Oh, not quite there. Again, steady pressure. You don't want to grind it back and forth. Just a little bit. You can feel it. You can really feel. There's a lot of feedback in this tool. You can feel the pressure when you're cutting in a little bit. We may have gotten lucky because if this didn't work, this was going to be a short video. The next scene you would have seen would, would have been me taking it to a music store and handing it on the desk and saying, can you give me a new nut, please? Here's a funny story. I have a gear channel where I'm supposed to know what the f I'm doing. Oh, still a little sharp there. That means I can go a little deeper. And I know, <laughs> I know. That's what she said. I could hear you guys saying it. Just because I want that intonation to tighten up a little bit and also I get that deeper nut slot and I'll have even less to worry about. When you have a YouTube channel, you feel the need to continually talk and then look back at the camera every so often because they tell you you're supposed to. Hi. Okay, so that's good news. That was step one. So I think keeping the same nut, even though I'm going to be doing a pretty radical string gauge change here to make this thing into a chug stick, I'm hoping that, that this nut has been saved and we won't have to get a new nut. 
I think this might be my very first set of Ernie Ball strings. And no, they are not a sponsor. I am normally a dyed-in-the-wool Deuterio guy. Uh, I just wanted to do, you know, the detune thing, and I knew I needed a heavier gauge. And Ernie Ball made it so easy for me without having to learn and memorize a whole other set of gauges. It is optimal for detuning. It's called Beefy Slinky. It goes from 11 to 54. I like to use nut sauce in the nuts. That's the place you're supposed to put it. I like to use just a little bead in there. You never know. A lot of times these come from the from the factory and they're they're not really all that great as far as having the right amount of lube in the slots. One thing old Trogley's learned from his many, many years of working on guitars is you can never have enough lube. See that there? You probably can't see it. That is real big in that nut. Well, the good news is this. If this doesn't work out, the only thing it cost me was a set of Ernie Ball strings and some shame for using Ernie Ball strings. Ah, if you use them, I'm sorry, you suck. Loser. The Dario for life. The Dario for life. It's like a high tension wire holding up a telephone pole. It just barely sits in that nut slot. We're gonna lay some fat cables down on this thing and then we're gonna plug it into something and find out if it can be the chug, chug, chug stick that I hope it can be. And I remember to turn my audio on, my audio on. Chug, chug, chug. All right, I put the heavier strings on it. We are tuned down to D standard with the drop C. Will it chug? Ooh, you suck. Going through the Boss Katana, the lead patch, variation two, kind of scoop. Seems to be holding its tune pretty well. That's the only thing I really know to do with it. I'm gonna have to learn some like down tuned stuff, especially the dropped, the dropped E string kind of stuff. Pretty clueless. I got that whole boomer vibe. Pull my sleeves, I'm about to get serious. Now that I got this whole chug set up, ready to go, I figure I could start doing more of the content that you guys want. To wit, let's just say this is the first time I'm demoing this guitar, right? And you're like, all right, let's hear your clean tone. But how does it sound with, with the volume backed off a little bit? I'll show you. You want to hear the neck pickup? Both pickups together. Oh, isn't that wicked? But what if you roll the, the tone off on the on the on the bridge pickup? What what happens then, Alan? Some lead playing, I'll stick with the same tone on the neck pickup. Modern YouTuber style. What? <coughs> it is a solo. <coughs> it is a solo. That's a doom solo. You want to hear how the neck pickup sounds, the sweet singing single note? That's my genre's eruption. But how would it sound for country? Want to hear another solo? Neck pickup. That one's freaky. Oh, goodness, golly, gracious day. 
Am I playing it right? All kidding aside, let's hear uh, let's hear if it how it does for a bent note. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like anything about it. How does it sound with this? I will say from a tension standpoint, it does feel n more normal. I think if I had lighter strings, especially up here, it would have felt really, really springy and weird. But I think, I think, yeah, man, maybe a little too heavy on the bottom. That's hard to believe. Fluff style. Look, mom, I'm fluff. Look, Mom, I'm Ola. Except Ola would be in tune. So it went out of tune a little bit. So now when I have the latest and greatest like grindy, doomy, genty kind of gear and you kids want to hear how it sounds <laughs> like this, which to me is just so dumb, I'll do this for you. I'll be that guy for you. What did we learn today? We learned that if you're gonna take and down tune a guitar, you're gonna need heavier strings, obviously. You may have to change your nut or re have it recut. And you may also have to fart with your bridge as far as your string height and your pickup height. We also learned that maybe using a steak knife to cut your nut is not the best idea or, or use a skinny one. Trying to use one, one blade for the whole nut, it's just not worth it. You can get a set for 90 bucks. It'll probably pay for itself after a couple of guitars. Use the right tool. And finally, we learned that yours truly doesn't really know a whole lot of down tune chug riffs. I'll work on that. That way I can make give you all the woof woof stuff that you like along with my boomer bends. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with me. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell all your ratty ass friends about Geargasms. Call people you don't know and tell them about Geargasms. This is your mom. Tell them they might look really good in one of these deliciously lovely t-shirts. You can buy them and support the channel. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Axl Rose about it. He's not going to want to miss the early bird at the Golden Corral. <laughs> but play more guitar, watch less YouTube, keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasm.